Released in 1988 in the arcade and developed by Data East, here we have his Bloody Wolf, or if you're living in Europe, it is known as Battle Rangers. This game is just like most run and gun shooters of the day, such as Commando, Ikari Warriors, and of course, Data East's own Heavy Barrel, which I have the NES version showcased in this video for demonstration purposes. In 1989, shortly after the release of the Sega Mega Drive, aka Sega Genesis, NEC released the TurboGrafx-16 console, which is commonly referred as the PC Engine in Japan, over in North America to compete with Nintendo's NES console. Bloody Wolf was ported over to the PC Engine TurboGrafx-16 in 1990. Now, unfortunately for me as a video game collector, I do not own the actual TurboGrafx-16 console, let alone the Hue card or turbo chip of the game itself. Thankfully, I can check this game out via the Nintendo Wii's virtual console service, or if you have a Wii U out there right now, which this is a red Wii console that I bought back in uh, December of 2010, by the way. Anyways, let's go ahead and see how it holds up today, folks. play as the role of two commandos by the name of Snake and Eagle, who are part of the special force Bloody Wolf. The story does seem a bit controversial, stating that the president is considered MIA. Now here's a pop quiz. What other Data East title that has that same controversial storyline consisting of the president getting kidnapped by ninja assassins? If you guessed bad dudes, then you are absolutely correct my friend. But right then and there, I'm getting a little off topic right now. Anyways, the plot is that you are on a search and rescue mission to save your allies as well as the president. It's not an easy job, so it's best to be well prepared for the worst that could happen. As I have stated earlier, this game is a run and gun shooter which is quite similar to other games of that era. You play as a role as two commandos and while upon start as the mission ensues, you start off with a machine gun and a handful of grenades so you can go out there and defend yourself while in serious combat. in this game are very simple. If you play other run and gun games, especially Data East's own Heavy Barrel, then you're in for a treat playing this game through. If you play this game via the Wii Virtual Console, it is compatible with the Wii Remote Classic Controller and I believe it's also compatible with the Nintendo GameCube Controller as well. But I would assume the best optimization would probably be on an authentic TurboGrafx-16 PC Engine console anyway. D 
The objective of this game is that there are hostages you can rescue, including the president. However, in later parts of the game, it is imperative that you rescue the hostages in order to advance further into the game's climatic point, especially when you are fending off enemy soldiers. Boss battles in this game, good riddance are they intense. You think fighting them in a game like this would be a piece of cake, but you are completely wrong. Though some of the bosses, such as the boss in stage 3 are just stupidly easy. Most other bosses will require a lot of trial and error, especially fighting the boss when you're rescuing the president. You would think you ran away when he is about to fire his projectile at you, but as you pass him, consider yourself lucky. And then, before reaching the final boss in this game, you have to fight against, guess who? Yourself. In other words, whatever character you selected in the beginning of the game, you must fight against your other partner to get him out of a psychopathic state that he is planning to kill you. In other words, he was brainwashed by the main antagonist of the game you will face thereafter. The final boss in this game is pretty much the same guy you fought earlier in the game before you rescued the president. Now he's coming at you in random patterns. Skill and patience are totally required to dispatch this punk, and dispatching him is a real bitch. If you defeat him, you deserve a grand prize. And is that all? No! You still have to go through a horde of enemy soldiers just so you can get out of the base until you get to a point where there's a dead end and you're all surrounded by soldiers of the base until there's a chopper right ahead and dispatches them all to rescue you. Now that is teamwork at its finest. <laughs> Now, if you're talking about the weapons and item system in this game, you can carry things such as fins to walk through areas covered by water, keys to unlock boxes, and amongst a variety of other things to keep you sustained during a fierce battle. If anything I have against the gameplay here, if you compare this game to Heavy Barrel on the NES, let alone the arcade original of Bloody Wolf, 
it does not have the option of a two-player game on there. In my honest opinion, run and gun games are more fun with two players, but overall, this is a minor issue anyway for me. For a TurboGrafx-16 game, I can say that the graphics are decent to a certain extent. Granted, Data East is not renowned for a lot of visual polish in their games. I'm not saying that the graphics in this game are bad. It's actually pretty good for a TurboGrafx game in the first place, but who knows, things could be a lot worse. Otherwise, I believe the graphics are good enough for a TG-16 game considering that it would not be listed as a stellar work of art anyway. As far as the sound department goes in this game, I can say that the tunes are so radical and memorable. So far, I can say that it's some of the best tunes I have heard on the TG-16, and the moves in the game portrays it well. Bloody Wolf is by all means a very challenging game. It's definitely a must add for your video game collection. If you also own a Wii or Wii U system and you're watching this video review, do me a favor and download this game for Virtual Console. It's worth the $6 or whatever the amount it was that I bought this game to own it. Nintendo, I know you're listening. We need to see TurboGrafx-16 games on the 3DS eShop. That would be great, but who knows? Anything can happen sooner than we think. Well, that is it for us right now. I'm KT, and I'm signing off for now. Take care.